everyone, it's Perez. I am joined here by one of my favorite musicians, Marina from Marina and the Diamond. Diamond. Let's start over again. <laughs> and it should just be Marina, not Marina and the Diamond. Well, sometimes I regret it, Mario. But really? Yeah, but I can't do anything about it now. Plus, it's become a, a group, uh, a, a communal thing, which is what I like. I don't like the idea of pop star, don't But you are a pop star. No, I don't think, I don't feel like one. You don't want to be a pop star? No. I suppose you don't have a choice when it comes to being a pop star, but it's not, it was never an aim for me as such. I really wanted to be an artist and a pop artist. Yes. I've, I've also learned that uh, you, you do have this Greek heritage and you also spent time in Wales, but you were actually born in Greece. Um, no, I was born in Wales, but I lived there for about, I would say about five years of my life, on and off, and I feel very connected with that country. And now you're based in London. Mm -hmm. When did you move to London? When was that move? I moved when I was 18 and I was working in a petrol station in Wales. You were? <laughs> what were you doing there? Oh. You weren't pumping gas, were you? Yeah, I was actually. Really? Yeah. Amazing! And I was saving money so I could go to London and go to dance school. Because that's what Madonna did, and ah! I was obsessed with Madonna. <laughs> I'm wearing a Madonna t-shirt. Yeah, I, I was, I, you know, I knew London was the only place that this was going to happen. So I just bought a, a laptop, and I produced my own songs, and then I got signed in, within six months. Now, we're here in America. Uh, you've done some shows. You do talk about America a lot. You're, you're kind of obsessed with it. Why, why the obsession, fascination with the US of A? And is it tongue in cheek or is it serious? Oh no, it's deadly serious. I, for some reason, ever since I was 12, actually 9, 10, basically when we got Sky in our tiny village in Wales and I could watch MTV and Nickelodeon, I was hooked and um, I think America's a really interesting country for so many people but for me I really latched on to the mentality and to analysing the culture because um, it is a very interesting culture, it's a very young country. Things like Hollywood, um, the song Hollywood, they just challenge people to question what success actually is because it's not really about beauty or um, about money even though those things are really nice. I They're very nice. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of folk. It's filling our culture, and our culture is becoming increasingly empty. So. About the next album yet? Is that something you've already started to think about or write for? Oh, I I started thinking about it before the end of the first album because I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I don't. I'm very aware of this second album syndrome, and it won't happen to me because I never stopped writing after the first. Um, I think I have a title for it, but. You know, it's a long way off. It's, I would say this time next year I will be out. I had this idea or fantasy or maybe just a one-off. Mm. You should try and reinterpret some of your songs as opera. <laughs> I, I hear that. I can hear you singing opera. <laughs> or like a little bit of it. Yeah. No? Why? You get that well, a lot? Is I, that a bad idea? You know, I, I would... <laughs> <laughs> I would like, actually, there's this program in the UK called Pop Opera, and I really wanted to take part, um, <laughs> but you have to be quite good. But I think, sometimes I think, it's a shame that my parents didn't give me opera lessons when I was younger. Well, I, I can... I really I, have the, the vocal Yes! You should just do yeah. it. Yeah. You know what, I'll sit on that one, I'll sleep on it and I'll let you know. You make all these cool videos, you should just do <laughs> like a viral cool video for one of your songs like that. I as a fan love when you reinterpret your songs, like you did a really amazing, actually I don't know how many versions of Hollywood you did and they were all really yeah, good. Yeah. You did this great orchestral version. Um, Oh um, yeah! With uh, Gonzalez. See, I see what you mean with the videos thing. I yeah. just do it for fun. Yeah. Like the Gonzalez thing was meant to be like an Estonian TV. Yeah, and that looked really cool. <laughs> yeah. At a time when you're new to people and your song is a big pop song, the video is quite light and pop, you need to show people that you're an, actually an artist and a lot of pop artists can't sing live. And so for me it was just a, an identity uh, 
It was a way to build my identity. Well, gorgeous. Mm. I've had too much fun. You have had fun as well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I hope I've inspired some ideas. Yeah, opera. <laughs>